hi everyone welcome back to the channel so in the last video we have seen that how we can activate the uipath studio with the help of a community license so today we are going to see what other components we we as a beginner have to know to start the uipath journey so in the last video what we have uh, seen is we have uh, created a hello world program and that was run from the studio so today we are going to connect the same program to the uipath orchestrator and see how it goes right so as a beginner we would require to know these components the first component is the uipath studio the second one is the uipath assistant and the third one is the uipath orchestrator let's see one by one so what what is this uipath studio and why do we need it so uipath studio is an automation canvas for developer business user to develop the bot it is an ide which is provided by uipath which can be used to develop the code how do we develop the code there are consist of set of activities and packages that are clubbed together to automate a task there is recording there are citrix automation there are activities for citrix there are active excel there are activities for excel there are activities for emails and all type of automation can be accomplished with the help of activities next uipath studio is used to develop debug and publish your code to the orchestrator now what is orchestrator we will talk a little bit later next you can use this one to develop and use the reusable component so what is the reusable component is let's say you have developed a code and that that can be used again and again across the team so you can use uipath studio to develop and reuse the reusable code next uipath studio is used for version maintenance you can connect it to git svn and tfs so that your code is always safe in the repositories to know more about the uipath studio there is a link which i will provide in the description you can refer to this one so the next component is uipath assistance which assistant which is installed along with the uipath studio so what is the purpose of assistant so assistant is an application which allows us to view manage set reminder for the processes you can treat assistant as the mediator between the orchestrator and the uipath studio so it is the one who is responsible to connect to the orchestrator and start the job so whenever you trigger a job from the orchestrator this is the guy who is responsible for running the job in your local machine or any of the server so with the help of uipath assistant you can view pause start stop resume a process and this is applicable to the attended attended robots to know more about the assistant just visit the link which is shown in the slide i'll just keep this one in the description also now the last one is the orchestrator what and why do we need the orchestrator so orchestrator is a web application that enable you to orchestrate orchestrate your ui robots in executing the repetitive business process okay so what is the what is the use of or orchestrator so it allow you to monitor deploy the resources manage the resources creating of the assets and many things i will show in the video further it acts as a single integration point with the third party solution and application it power it power comes up with the capability of managing your entire robot fleet right from the testing action automation monitoring everything can be accomplished by the orchestrator and the good part is orchestrator comes up with a mobile app also so you can monitor manage your robots with the help of mobile application to know more about orchestrator please follow the link which is shown on the slide now let's quickly jump to and see what our orchestrator is so when you log into the cloud platform this is how you see the orchestrator so in the coming in the coming part of the video i will show that how do you manage it so let's quickly go by the details which we require to run the first process right so we collapse everything we go to the machine so machine is something where the robot will execute so for example if i today create a robot and if i ask you where do you want to execute the robot you will say that i want to execute a robot in my personal machine so for that you have to add the machine so the machine will be added in the machine section so the first thing which you have to do in the orchestrator is to add a machine once the machine is added the next thing you would want to do is set up a robot so that we do in the robot machine so the next question would be who will execute that package so there should be someone right who should execute so that guy is the robot so we create the robot here right so along with the robot there is one more concept of environment so what is environment environment is the grouping of robots so for example if you are having a two different communities in your company let's say developer and a tester you don't want the tester to use the developer robots or vice versa so for that you create environments and you group your robots into the environments so first thing machine then we create the robots right so whenever you develop a process from uipath studio you publish the nugget package 
to the UiPath orchestrator and those are available in the form of the packages right so now to run the process robots do not understand packages so what we have to do is we have to go and create processes so under automation there is a tab called processes this is a tab where you where you uh, create a process and assign it to the environment so whenever you assign it to the environment all the robots which are part of this environment are capable of running this one everything of this is demonstrated in the video later next there is something called jobs so the jobs is a single page where you can run a job where you can see all the uh, existing job status whichever the fail which was run from which environment who is running the job which uh, which robot is free or not all the details are available in the job panels now there are other things also such as assets queues storage buckets processes we will talk about them later okay so that's it for this or uh, orchestrator high level summary so we just want to know about machines robots uh, processes and jobs now that we understand what UiPath orchestrator is so our next job is to connect the UiPath community studio to the orchestrator so for that we have to get our own orchestrator so let's see how do we get that we go to browser we type cloud.uipath.com uh, so you remember the email id which we used to download the uipath community software exe so we are going to use the same email id we'll just log into this instance okay so if you remember we created a space called personal space so this is where you will see the orchestrator default default services and this was the place where we downloaded the uipath studio now let's click on this one and this will take us to our instance of the uipath orchestrator okay so you might see that this is something different you might get a new a newer version of the uipath orchestrator so you can always switch from here to the new design and if you are already in the new design then if you want to prefer to the old one you can just go back to the old design okay now let's see how do we connect this version to the uipath studio so if i just open this one hello world the program which we created last meanwhile this is opening i'll just want you to go to the search bar and search for uipath assistant so that would be available like this uipath assistant so this is the medium by which the uipath studio will connect to the orchestrator so let's see how do we connect that so as of now if you will see the orchestrator is showing orchestrator is not connected okay so we again go back to the cloud uh, machine okay we'll add a new machine standard machine okay name of the machine best practice is you just go here go to this menu right click orchestrator setting and go to orchestrator setting select the machine key this is the machine name copy the machine name go to the machine standard template okay so this is my TV so now we have so as I'll just want so now we have to allocate licenses so if you'll see we have two attended and one unattended license so we'll talk about this later so I'll just go by selecting one unattended license to this one okay and I click on provision so now this machine is provisioned so let's see how we can connect this machine so there is something called copy machine key so we just click on and the machine key is copied we again go back to the this this guy machine key is this and orchestrator you are so we'll go to this one and to here this will be the orchestrator URL let's try to connect okay now you see the orchestrator is now connected so if I go here you will see the orchestrator is connected but unlicensed this is because we have not allocated any robots to this one so let's go and quickly and assign a robot to assign a robot we come to the robot tabs under management so if you will see it says robot in modern folders are managed from the management user so we just switch the profile we just come here and we select the default one so this will go to the standard folder so we can talk about standard and modern folder in a different 
tutorial maybe so as of now so the first thing we have to create is an environment so environment is where you group the robots so for example you can uh, think of uh, environments for example if you have a development team and a separate QA team so you want to create a separate environments for the developers where all the robots will be clubbed together so you can create an environment so for this demo I'll just going to create a sample environment I'll just script the description as sample environment and we'll just create it okay so we hit cancel so the next step is to create a robot so what robot exactly is so as you can see we have two unat two attended robots and one unattended robot provided by uipath so if we talk about robot so we can in this for this instance if you will see for this machine we have assigned one un unattended robot so how do we add a robot we just click on this button add we click on the standard robot we select a machine so this is the machine we have just added we give the name of the robot so let's say the name of the robot is robo we just uh, give a description as an attended robot an attended robot okay so the type is unattended okay so now it will ask for the domain and username so how do we get a domain and username so we go to cmd we type who am i okay and it will give you the domain and the username hit control c enter and this is your domain and username next you specify the password the password will be your windows credential so from the credential type it is selected as windows credential now so this is the setting which you have to do for an connecting an unattended robot you just go and hit create so if you will see when you create the robot the robot is not available so, so this cross sign shows that the robot is not available because the environment is not assigned so let's quickly go to environment so remember the environment we have created click on the three dots click on manage and now select the robot and hit update so now if you come back to robots you will see the robot is now available so now when you can see the robot is now available that means now we can run any job from the UiPath orchestrator so now let's quickly go back to the assistant UiPath assistant and if you will see it is now connected and licensed if I double click and open you will see the robot is now connected and it is licensed okay so now if I go to UiPath studio if you will see it is connected and licensed and it is connected to the default tenant right if this is not coming you can just click here and select this refresh button and if it's not happening you can just start uh, the UI path, restart the UiPath studio so now the next part is so as of now we were running this program from the studio let's try to run this from the UiPath orchestrator so for that we just go to publish we just go to publish and publish this hello world this is the name of the package we want to publish to the orchestrator and we just hit on next it will ask where do you want to publish I want to publish it to orchestrator so now it will publish to the orchestrator which orchestrator the one where the studio is connected and we have connected the studio to the default or default tenant of the orchestrator right so we'll just click next we'll click publish it says publishing package and the project process is successfully published to the orchestrator now let's go to the orchestrator and see how it looks like we just again come back to the management you will see there is an option called packages okay so now this is the package we have just deployed so you can see this is the name of the package we have deployed it few seconds ago right so to run a package from the orchestrator we have to create a process so process is anything that will be assigned to a robot we cannot directly assign a package to the robot so when I say robot so the robot is the robo we just created so robo will run a package robo will run a process so first thing we deploy a package it is available in the packages the next thing we have to create a process so we again go to the automation tab you will see here processes so as of now we don't have any process we just click on the add button select the package so the package is hello world what would be the display name so you can just keep the display name as empty or you will just give is as hello world 
okay so the package as of now we have only one version but in future if you do any changes we can just update the package one right so the next thing is to select the environment so here we have created a sample environment as of now we have only one we'll just go by the sample environment and then we leave everything to the default setting and we just hit create so as soon as you create it what this mean is that hello world package is now available with the sample environment and all the robots which are assigned to the assigned to the sample environment can run this package okay now to run a package or a process we have to go to jobs so now we go to jobs okay so as of now you see there is no job we'll just hit this guy start a job we can select the hello world job so now since hello world is tagged to the environment sample environment and sample environment is having one robot so we are seeing only one robot so if we have two robots you will see two robots so you can select the robot which you want to trigger so i just select this one and i hit start okay so the command is sent okay so now if you will see we have triggered our first process from the ui path orchestrator okay so now one more thing if i you quickly go back to this guy and if you will go to the ui path assistant okay now you will see the both the all the processes which you have deployed are available here and you don't need to go to the orchestrator so if you have any attended processes you can just deploy it on the orchestrator and you can run it from so let's say if i want to run it if i just close this one and if i just want to run it from here i can just quickly go here start the process and it is executed okay so every execution you will see it here so this this is how you can use UiPath orchestrator and if you will see this one was the manual we created from here this one was from assistant if you will schedule it and then run it then you will get the name of the processors all that in a different video so that's it for this one okay so now that we have connected the robots to the orchestrator we have run a process from the orchestrator our studio is connected to the orchestrator let's quickly summarize that what we have learned today so the first and the foremost you develop the code in the UiPath Studio. Wherever you develop a code and you publish the package, it is in the form of a NU PKG that is called Nugget package. That package is sent to the orchestrator. Now, what to do inside the orchestrator? So first thing, you have to add the machine. Once the machine is added, you have to create an environment. So environment is just grouping of the robots together. Next, we create a process to, to be executed by the robots because robot does not understand the NUPKG right so how do we create the process we create the process from the nugget package which we have deployed from the studio next we create a job the job are executed by the robots which are tagged to the environments so whatever process is tagged to the environment and robots are then again tagged to the same environment so for example if your environment are having four robots all the four robots are capable of executing the nugget package now where the robot will execute the process it it will depend on the machine which you have tagged and who will execute the process this is the guy who will execute the process so i hope this clears your understanding so thank you so much for watching if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and happy automation